Let us investigate factors that influence the boiling point of organic compounds. The boiling point of some organic compounds obtained as shown in the table below. And then 3.1 says define the term boiling point. So we know fully well that the boiling point is the temperature at which uh, the vapor pressure is equals to the atmospheric pressure right so the temperature in which the vapor pressure is equals to the atmospheric pressure but you have to write it in full i'm just writing it like this for the sake of time and then 3.2 says the boiling points of compounds a b and c are compared and then 3.2.1 says how do the boiling points vary from compound A to C? So we come in here from compound A going to C. So we have minus 42, minus 0, 0,5 and 36. Clearly, the boiling points are increasing, right? So for 3.2.1, we're going to write increases. And then we have 3.2.2, which takes explain the answer to question 3.2.1. So why are these boiling points increases? When you're coming from A to C, you will realize that A has uh, three carbons, and then B has four carbons, and C has five carbons so we can see clearly that the chain length is increasing right so we can see that uh, the chain length increases and then it doesn't end there what is the consequence of the chain length increasing when the chain length increases we'll have an increase in the strength of the induced dipole dipole forces right so we're gonna say that the strength of induced um, dipole dipole uh, forces uh, goes up and then in conclusion uh, more energy uh, will be required to overcome the forces so that's exactly what you're gonna write uh, more energy uh, required to overcome the forces I'm just gonna leave it like this for the sake of time but you have to write it in full when you sit for your exam and then 3.3 .3 says the boiling points of compounds B C and D are compared is this a fair comparison so let's go look at uh, B is B which is butane C which is pentane and D, which is methyl butane. And then, is this a fair comparison? If we look at the molar mass of B, it's 58. The molar mass of um, C is 72. And the molar mass of D is 72. So, no, I don't think this is a fair comparison. And then, obviously, they're going to ask us why. Because, um, compound compound b has a different molar mass right as a different molar mass because when we investigate in when we are doing these experiments in chemistry we are only supposed to be uh, changing uh, the independent variable right we're not supposed to change uh, the control which we need uh, the molecular mass to be. So if we were comparing only C and D, then that would be fine because they have the same molecular mass. Or if we were comparing A and F, but then as for B, it has a different molar mass, so it's not a fair comparison. So we have 3.4, which says, the boiling points of compounds E and F are compared. So let's just erase this and look at E and F. So yes, E, which is ethanol, and F, which is ethanol. 
and then 3.4.1 say state the independent variable for this comparison so the dependent is uh, what we're looking for right in this instance it will be the boiling point and now the control is what's uh, kept the same which is the molecular mass right we have 46 and 44 they're not really kept the same but then they're pretty much close to each other and then what we are changing here is the functional group right you can see that here we have ethanol and here we have ethanol uh, alcohol and then aldehyde so the independent uh, variable uh, we can say is the functional uh, group you can all you can even say is the homology status and it will still be fine and then uh, this is 3.4.1 my bad and now we have 3.4.2 which says write down the name of the strongest van der Waal uh, force present in compound f so in compound f the strongest is dipole uh, dipole uh, forces this question is more of content knowledge uh, than <laughs> solving any problem and then 3.5 uh, says which compound d or e has a higher vapor pressure so the higher the vp um the lower uh the bp <laughs> bp being the boiling point right so um compound d uh which is methyl butane has a boiling point of 28 and then compound e has a boiling point of 78 so the higher the vp the lower the bp uh, compound D has a lower boiling point compa compa compared to compound E. So we're going to see D has the higher vapor pressure as a consequence. Oh, they say give a reason. So the reason is what we just talked about. Uh, the, the higher the uh, vapor pressure, the lower the boiling point. Clearly, uh, methyl butane is a lower boiling point. As a result, it has a higher vapor pressure.